What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 89. Oh, it's not a good stick. There we go. 89 of Fusion. Okay, uh, today we're making today is we're making tolerance block, and then show you how to put those tolerances in the drawing. Now, at this point, if you're just if you've actually gone with me through all other 88 days, you probably don't need help making this part. Uh, if you do, you're welcome to follow along. If not, you're welcome to skip on ahead to the drawing and just see the those small little settings on how to make that work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference my drawing, actually, uh, when I'm making this part. So I'm going to click on New Design, and let's go ahead and start from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I like to do center point rectangle. Thanks to my good man, Corey Duzan, for producing that habit in me. Just something about the center rectangle just works better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete these center lines, though, just because I don't really need them, and they're going to get my way here in a second. I'm going to click on down the Create tab and click on Point, and we're going to put a point for our tolerance block to use. So now we're going to go ahead and dimension this point to, to be a uh, quarter inch. Hey, look at that from the top and from the sides. That way when I put my rectangular pattern here, it, everything lines up nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape, click on create, and then do rectangular pattern. So you want to do a pattern with this point across and down. On our width, it's gonna be 1.5 and four instances of it on my height uh, or depth is going to be negative 1.5 with four instances as well, not 34, let's do four. There we go. So what I have so far is I've got basically 16 points on for this tolerance block and that's what we'll be putting most of my holes into. But we do need to put some text in there as well. So I'm just going to draw some text over here overall doesn't really matter exactly where you put it because we're going to move it anyway. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. We're going to give it a height of 0 0.3 inches actually. And that makes it line up pretty well without having to move it already. You're welcome to adjust it and put dimensions in and make it look perfect. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that just because it takes a while for those dimensions. Go ahead and click finish sketch. And here's what we have so far is so we've got one sketch with all of our parts in it that we need we're going to use to reference. So I'm going to click extrude. We're going to extrude this on out. I'm going to go down a quarter inch. And I'm going to click drop down on the sketch and make that sketch active again. We're going to use this sketch quite a bit when we make our holes. So we want to make sure it stays active the whole time. The thing we need to extrude is I'm going to click escape first. I'm going to click on this text. I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to pull it down, automatically makes it a cut, click OK, and we're done. So what we should have now is we should have our text block with our numbers cut out of it. I'm going to make that sketch active again, and now we're going to start putting in our holes. So I click on the hole feature, and we're going to click on whatever hole we're looking for first. And it's going to be a depth of all the way through. and it's going to have a diameter of, my first one is going to be, be let me reference that real quick, of 0 0.185. So I'm going to click on hole. And then over here we can type in 0 0.185 and hit enter. Now this part's going to get a little bit tedious, so we're just going to have fun with it though. You're going to notice I'm actually going to use the tab key and this allows me to put in my numbers directly in here without messing with this panel on the right side. And it makes things just a little bit easier. Okay. Now let's also talk about some shortcuts. I just used the whole feature and now I'm going to use it again. So if you hold down the right mouse button and drag up, it does that repeat command. Now I know we've never done this before because usually we don't repeat commands too often, but we are going to be here. So right click drag up to repeat whole, tab twice, and then this is going to be 0 0.19. Do it again, repeat whole right here, 
for this middle, it's going to be 0 0.195. Oh, I got to double click on that. 0 0.195. Do it again. See if I look, can look cool. Nope, can't look cool. And this is going to be 0 0.20. Kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to look cool. 0 0.205. Repeat hole. There we go. This one's going to be, what do we have? 0 0.22. 0 0.22. Nope, not gonna work. Tried. I tried to use a shortcut. It worked so beautifully when I did my practice run earlier. Uh, what's the depth thing you're gonna be? Uh, 0 0.225, I believe. And then the last one, 0. Point, oh, oh, that's gonna be all the way through. And that's gonna be 0 0.23. Be a hole for this last one down here. We're going to be 0 0.25. Uh, 0 0.25. Zero 0.25. Repeat hole. That makes this 0 0.245. And 0 0.255. There we go. We've officially made our tolerance block. I can make this sketch inactive now. And there we go. All we need to do now is throw this into a drawing file. And this is where things actually just get a little bit new and you can get lost in the settings. So I'm going to click on drop down from design. We're going to click on, there it is, drawing from design. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. Tolerance block. We're going to name that tolerance block. The contents are going to be drawing from title block. We've already created these title blocks. That way it pops in my school's logo, pops in all information for me automatically. So it talks about the class, the title block, or sorry, the title card has tolerance block in it. It says it's created by me, and we're good to go. Problem is, is that I actually created this part where my front view is, my, is not what I want. So I'm actually going to go to top view here. And I'm going to bump that scale up to 2. And there we go. We have our base view in there. We're going to click on Projected. So we're going to project this view. And we're going to drag up to the top right and put in our isometric. Hit Escape. Drag these down a little bit. Double click. Make it a shaded view. And we're almost done. The only thing we need, we need to do in here is when we put our dimensions in, we're going to notice that there's going to be something interesting happening overall. And that is, when I go to dimension this tolerance block, it only goes to two decimal places. So when I dimension this center block, it's actually going to be, if I'm going to double click on it, you can change some settings in there. So what we're going to do is linear precision. We're going to go to three decimal places and add in a tolerance of five thousandths of an inch. Click close, and there we go. So this, what I can do now is I can just go in here, put in all of my dimensions, let's see if I can drag this around. There we go. I don't want to get in the way there. Double click on them. Linear precision to three decimal places. Tolerance 0 0.005, five thousandths. Okay. Tolerance 0 0.005. And last but surely not least, three tolerance 0 0.005. Okay, we could throw in other dimensions as far as where these are at and things like that, but I'm going to save that for letting you do it. But we've uh, put in our tolerances for bilateral tolerance for those center holes for our tolerance block. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. These videos are tons of fun. We are officially down to the final stretch of the last 10 videos for Fusion. Woo! All right. If you need help, feel free to reach out in any way you're able to find me. These videos have been tons of fun. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the last 10 videos. Adios.